Welcome back, laddie, to Robert the Bruce and your favourite Scottish narrator. And yes, I see all the comments about this accent, and no, I'm not stopping it. In fact, I accidentally didn't have my mic switched on when I first started recording, so now I get to read through the intro section again. I shall return. Hot and thirsty, our target is the small town on the mountain, which is the stronghold of the Grenadians in the area. Before we can attack, however, we must wait for the transport and assembly of the siege weapons. All I could do was find a stone that could block the sun and boredly watch how the Imperial Eagle in the distance hunted the cave rabbit to pass the time. All this time, a tall figure sat beside me without saying hello, and I looked over. Hi, Gonzalo. It's you, James. Long time no see. It happens that it'll take some time before the siege. Tell me the story of your king. What happened to him when he became king? Okay, last time we talked about the coronation of King Robert at Schoon. However, Edward I reacted quickly. Due to his advanced age and many things to deal with at home and in France, he did not solve the problem himself, but dispatched his henchman of Valence, Earl of Pembroke, leading the army to Scotland to suppress us. And this tyrant ordered no mercy but to kill all Scottish insurgents. The British army soon arrived. The two sides met in Methvin, an area near Perth. My master has always followed the precepts of Jesus, upholding the spirit of chivalry, and came to, up to the camp to challenge, and the sly valence asked for another day to fight under the pretext of that it was too late in the day to do battle. Then, in the evening of the same day, he launched a despicable sneak attack while our army disarmed his weapons and armor. The situation was really dangerous. My king was captured twice, and we rescued him twice. Especially the second time, I rushed into a team with dozens of people to rescue him. He raised his head and looked at the small town and said word by word, My master was in a desperate situation. His brother, Nigel, Nigel de Bruce, was in charge of protecting his family, was soon killed. His wife, his daughter, his sister were imprisoned, humiliated by the English in cages, and a large number of supporters were killed. My master was devastated and disheartened. However, when he and I were resting in a mill once, we happened to see a spider weaving a web. The spider's web was always blown away by the strong wind halfway, but the spider is not discouraged, but starts from the beginning and finally forms a web. After watching the whole process, he was greatly encouraged and vowed he would make a comeback. And let me tell you guys, that is really hard on my throat. <laughs> Oh my god, the Scottish accent, it gets worse and worse and worse as my voice deteriorates. The shameless Valence is not chivalrous. He sneaked up at night causing a total defeat of our army. We must hold to this last castle. How dare you say that? You didn't also betray Wallace for your own life. You also betrayed your oath of allegiance to my king, didn't you? I would do anything for Scotland, even if that means taking on the stigma of a traitor. <laughs> Why am I even doing this? Oh, it has. There is literally no reason. Other than that it makes me laugh. I really don't care if you guys like it or not. It, it makes me laugh. Meganels are good against paladins. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, we're in Feudal Age? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Robert the Bruce and James Douglas must survive. Defend the castle for 10 minutes. Robert the Bruce's population cap is 80 in the beginning. And it can be increased to 160 when he returns to Scotland. Uh, and the liberation of Scottish towns will increase the population to a maximum of 210. While in Scotland, he was able to use Imperial Age technology, but if he were defeated and fled, he would have to start over from the Feudal Age. In addition, gunpowder has not been applied to the battlefield at this time. Valence's sneak attack was made uh, made you lose the Battle of Methven. However, you can still survive in Scotland. You must be ready to escape overseas. At low difficulty settings, who cares? We are not. Uh, we're, we're on hard. Ireland and the Hebrides. Heb Hebrides? I, I know what the islands are. They're to the west of Britain. Uh, are both options when you flee, both have their pros and cons. The island of Ireland has more resources to develop military power, and it may also win the support of the Irish, but also faces the threat of the British army. The Hebrides Islands are relatively safe, but the resources are relatively scarce. When you return to Scotland, you can get aid from the Scottish villages. The morale of the Scottish army is now low, <laughs> and competing additional tasks can improve their combat effectiveness. In addition, the unique technology of the Celts in this scenario has been changed. 
Valence has main forces comprised of cavalry, and in the narrow terrain it will be restrained by the infantry and siege weapon what the Scots are good at. Especially you can compete... Uh, okay. The final battle will take place in a swamp at the foot of the mountain near Pikenal, plus one range. Ooh. Uh, to defend a castle to the northeast, it will not hold up against the heavy cavalry uh, for too long. You have to escape. Scottish towns are scattered across Scotland, who would have thought? Uh, the Irish are facing off against another group of English invaders. And the English general is uh, hanging around. I do have plus two, plus two. Oh. Let's get some mangoes. These are the only things we have left. I feel like we're just facing a constant stream of units. At least we can keep that tower garrison for a little while. Oh wait! Whoa, 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 whoa. for too much longer. Surrender, Bruce, for the sake of uh, you've just become king. I will not kill you for now. You just need to kneel on the ground to beg for mercy. But they said that's all they had left last time. I think they're holding out on me, guys. Edward, you tired. There is no way the Scottish people will surrender to you. Well, when the city breaks down, I'll see you something something. Uh, we're doing a decent job, I think. Got the English invaders and the generals. Got lots of English invaders and generals and stuff. Got the three OG Western European civs in this one. Celts. Britons and Franks. Okay, minute 32. We still have our castle age upgrades. Like we have Light Cav, Cavalier, Two Handed Swordsman, and Hal. Crossbowman, Elite Skirmisher. Um, uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to keep our resources, so I... Oh, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No. 22 seconds. No, you're getting stuck! No, no. Come on, be uphill or something. <gasps> we're good. We're good. Our is completely defeated in the camp in Scotland. We want to go first and save our lives. Alas, fine. Uh, okay, so you have to go to the transport ship. <laughs> oh boy, what a scenario so far. So I guess we have to flee Scotland. Uh, 
eh, you know, it was a good fortress while it lasted, but it's not exactly super defensible. At least we were able to cut those does those guys down quite quickly. Yeah, they only have castle age upgrades. Okay. Um Um, do I have to, like, just run for it? Uh, there goes the castle. Of ballistics, that's cheating. No, stop. Oh, my God, there are so many of them. Oops, oops, there are so many. Well, you know, let's see where autosave has us. Okay, this is fine. <laughs> this is fine, he said. Okay, everything is going to be okay. Yeah, those clowns we can get rid of. Just got to be on the lookout for that trebuchet. Thanks for the res. Hey, don't be a butt face. I apologize for using such coarse language, but it's the truth. Right, and we are good to go. And that's fine. Up oh, now, the corgi wants out. Ugh. Now he wants to sit in the doorway. Okay, at least we know vaguely which direction we're going. We're not going to hopefully run into as many Cyan troops and we can bring our entire army with us. No. That. Whoa, home slice. You want to not? All 
right? Oh, all that stuff's getting destroyed, but, you know, such is life. Get out of here with your post-imp Frank Paladin nonsense. What? They're trebbing me? <laughs> okay, uh, sorry, Manganel, but... We follow, uh, the opposite of the, the no soldier left behind policy. Okay, we'll take them. I think. I'm like... 16% sure that this is an easy fight. How are you not dead? Okay, um... Robert... Okay, well... You guys will uh, cut off... Or do something with our retreat, and then everyone, everybody disappears anyway, okay. Robert, you coward, you don't even have the courage to duel with me. Your wife and daughter and sisters are still here. Do you not even care about your loved ones? Nope. Thanks, good. At least we have escaped. Your Majesty, the hiding places we can choose are Ireland and the Hebrides. Hebrides. On uh, the transport ship above to go to the Hebrides, click on the transport ship below to go to Ireland. Now, I do like these sorts of choices. Island of Ireland has more resources to develop military power, and you also support the Irish, but you also save the threat of the British Army. I feel like the more fun one for you guys would be uh, Ireland. So, wait. Above to go to the Hebrides, and the one below to go to Ireland. Okay. We went to Ireland to regroup. Uh, we will regroup and develop a strong army and return to Scotland to liberate our homeland. Kid I totally didn't break character there, by the way. I would never do that. Irish rebels. So I just get you? Oh, we have to build a town center. Oh, okay. I, I don't know a good place to build one, but we're just going to do it right there. I guess these guys are are going to be our friends. But this seems like a cool scenario. Yeah, they're the English invaders. I assume the purple English invaders are like the, the ones who are invading Ireland. Do a bit of scotting. Scotting. Because we're Scottish, we're, it's scotting. You bet I just said that. Uh, the overseas base is built and we are to reorganize our troops here and return to Scotland. Move quickly. The English devils are very resourceful and may be coming after us soon. Okay, there are the English invaders. Um... Your Majesty, it seems that not only we, but the, also the Irish are resisting the English invaders. You might consider supporting the Irish people and get their support. Okay, so we can defeat Purple. Oh, okay, so there are the English generals all over what I imagine is Scotland. Oh. If you can quickly quit on the external, it will boost the low morale. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, we'll try, but... 30 minutes, when we have like 10 villagers and are in the feudal age and also on an island. It seems like a tall order. But we can go for, I think, some like 
pikemen and siege and maybe some woad raiders. Oh, can you really not reach that? But we don't need that many resources, I think, to really get going. Go a fishing. Oh, they're also fishing. Whatever. Now, I'm going to imagine that we need to get to Castle Age pretty quickly. You know, I honestly really like how this scenario doesn't just have us start in, like, Castle or an Imperial Age with a base and a ton of resources, and we just have to, you know... Boom, build army, patrol, rinse and repeat. Like, you know, this this feels a bit more creative, which I always really appreciate in a scenario. Not that I don't like big build and destroy sorts of missions, but I like complexity. Uh, we're gonna get a galley, just to scout around. See if there are all that many fish worth investing in. Because I don't see that many deep fish, but maybe they're just located in a bit of a different area. Oops. Like I said... Get up to Castle Age at a reasonable time. We're going to start mining some stone now. I want to drop uh, just drop a castle, go for some wood raiders, pikemen, and rams, and just take these guys down. Take them down. Oh, there don't seem to be that many fish. Get that and then click up. We have some logic-defying cliffs. You bet we do. Now, I don't know much of Irish geography. I'm pretty sure this isn't what Northern Ireland looks like. Oh, I guess we can dock over there. Whoa, that's purple. Yeah, unless there's like an English general at this castle, I don't... Oh no, there. it's like here, 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 here. I, I really don't see how we can take these guys out in 30 minutes or less. I mean, we will eventually. Oh, come now. Why you gotta do me like that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Build a castle like right there, I think. Come on, 
Come on! Go, Irish! Fight off the English invaders! Anyway, we'll have enough resources for a castle. Oh, yeah, we're really going to want to take these guys out sooner rather than later. But this castle will give us control of this hill. Hopefully my heroes will benefit from upgrades. We do need to do it. I, I'm working on it. I trust you, Robbie. I'm working on it. Or trust me, I'm working on it. Bosaw. Whoa! I wish we had uh, shared vision with the the Scot. Or no, we're the Scots, the Irish. No, oh, that's our TC. guys. Okay, we don't need that many on gold. Let's see how we can do this. Oh yeah, they said our tax difference. Celtic spirit. Let's see what this does. Um... Randomly produce one of the following bonuses. Plus five attack to cavalry, 15 HP, one plus one armor, two attack. Oh, okay. So we just get a, a random, very useful bonus. Which, I mean, sure. It's fine by me. Celtic rams are thankfully going to be very useful. I'm thinking once we clear up the uh, the Bados main base here, we can uh, work towards uh, building up a bit of a navy again. Attack, please. Getting there in the end. Let's try and get that dock built. Oh. 
Oh, are they deleting stuff? Perfect. Thank you, Scots. We're willing to share our technology and troops. Making enemies hard to detect. Reduce the line of sight of enemy units. Interesting. Not something I would have expected, but interesting. Anyway, uh, Orange is in the Imperial Age, so we're... Oh my god! Okay, I guess we need to do some more scouting. I hope there's more stone that isn't near the coast. Because I have no idea how I'm supposed to... Okay, there's a little bit of stone, but again, it's on the coast. I need something that's out of range of war galleys. <laughs> but I don't seem to be getting it. Alrighty. Well, we just have to make do with the situation we are given. Um, yeah, that's pretty rough. I mean, Ireland has some resources, but it's not like it's that big. And I have absolutely no idea how we're supposed to, uh, you know, deal with all this. Like, the, the Imperial Age Celt Navy is terrible. I mean, we have Shipwright, but... We don't have Bracer, we don't have Fast Fire Ship, and we don't have uh, Heavy Demo Ship. Not a great sign. Still, we can boom our way out of anything. Or something. Especially because the Britain Navy is pretty good. Aren't I supposed to be reducing the enemy line of sight? How can they see all this? <laughs> uh oh. Get you. See if maybe I can mine a little bit of stone. This doesn't feel like it's going to be a quick scenario. This feels a bit like a two-parter, to be honest. Just kind of getting that vibe. Well, we at least have a good amount of resources right now. We should have been quicker. I'm sorry. They started me in feudal age with like six villagers. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do, man. Uh, maybe now you go over here and mine that little bit of stone. Kids, 
Whatever. Okay, the Irish. Oh, the Irish are even building the castle. Oh, wait, there's a little bit more of Ireland over here. Ireland. Oh, wait, there's stone over here. Oh, got, got, got those corners, guys. I tell it to pro players when I'm casting all the time. Maybe I should listen to my own advice. Wild idea. I guess they wouldn't have elite cannon galleon. I guess that's supposed to be one of our uh, few redeeming factors. Okay, so what's our plan of attack? Let's get smells like Celtic spirit. <sighs> Sorry, villager. Okay. I mean, all of the bonuses were pretty helpful, and <laughs> that's one of them. Be especially helpful versus all those long bowmen. And I think we have 210 population. Oh, there's a little bit more stone over there. Let's try you again. Get chip right. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 hold up! What are you? What's going on over here? Okay, I guess they're just trying to hold on. Get dry dock. Or wait. Oh, the liberation of the Scottish towns. Oh. I suppose my villager count's a bit high right now, then. Oops. Sorry, guys. Get to work, you lazy butts. So I won I guess green is like kinda hanging around over there. Whoa, 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 lag.
Lag, lag, lag. Yeah, no gunpowder. Yeah, this is kind of painful. This is still Fury Celtica. Yep. Burr. We're making progress slowly. Got to get this navy rolling. Good old Celt navy without cannon galleons. Oh, we can make huskarls. Cool. They're only castle age huskarls unless they are getting upgraded by elite wood raider, which would certainly be handy. Clear out those guys. Let's find a good place to land. Sail across the, the ocean. Well, that looks like a pretty promising location. Get all the upgrades. Let's keep sailing down a little bit that way. A little by that way. Okay. Here is an orange base. Okay, you know what? This is actually going to be a good time, I think, to stop. Because there's plenty of scenario left, so I'm pretty confident in getting two solid parts from this, uh... The scenario, but it, it's a fun one. It's a tough one, but it, it's a fun one. I, I enjoy, you know, the variety here. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.